Dear students, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the fourth lecture of grade 10. From Noor School and College Mansehra, I am your teacher Muhammad Awais Kashmiri. And dear students, today we are going to discuss the exercise of unit number one. We have already discussed the whole unit in details. So in exercise, as you know that on page number five, you have glossary. The first word in your glossary is ingrained, which we have already translated that Pukhta Yakin Wali of a habit and attitude etc. that has existed for a long time and is therefore difficult to change. Mean Pakka Pukhta. Second in affluent Amir having a lot of money and a good standard of living impoverished very poor gharib without money creed aqida a set of principles or religious beliefs defecation prastishkar to worship treatment or worship of somebody as a god impeccable innocent masoom without mistakes or faults suffice enough to be enough for somebody something kafi hona emulated nakali to try to do something as well as somebody else because you admire them comrades friends companion sati a person who is a member of the same political religious party as the as the person speaking infancy bachpan childhood the time when a child is a baby or very young ostentation shekhi to show up an exaggerated display of wealth knowledge or skill that is made in order to impress people on page number six we are moving haughtiness the kabbar ego an unfriendly attitude towards other people because you think that you are better than them. Squander, rakamurana, ayashi karna, to waste money, time, etc. Wet nurse, razaima, dai, a woman who breastfeeds and cares for another's child, foster mother, or foster mother. The second part of your exercise is comprehension questions which we have already covered uh, while going from the text. What is meant by simplicity and humility? We have discussed in detail. Dis describe in a few sentences the lifestyle of Hazrat Muhammad in the light of text that you have read. So we have already discussed. How can simplicity and humility do away with the culture of extravagance and waste? We have already discussed. Read the last paragraph of lesson, Simplicity and Humility of Hazrat Muhammad with comprehension and write down the main idea and supporting details of the paragraph. We have already discussed in detail how did Hazrat Muhammad treat his foster sister. So you have already discussed these things. Dear students, what you have to do? You have to take your notes which are given to you people from New School and College Mansera and you need to answer these questions uh, you need to write these questions on your need notebooks part B choose the correct option for the following statements the matters on which Hazrat Muhammad slept was made of leather stuffed with the fiber of dead trees this shows that he sallam a was poor b led a very simple life could not purchase expensive mattresses mattress was prominent so option b is the correct one led a simple life that's why uh, his mattress was made of leather and fiber stuff with dead trees the second one is the word that is opposite in meaning 
to affluent is poor definitely rich poor affluent is affluent mean amir rich so the opposite word is poor the third one according to the text hazrat muhammad sallam and hazrat fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu greeted each other dash way in the same way in the same way as muhammad sallam used to stand for her so similarly she also used to stand for muhammad sallam fourth one the word closest in meaning to impoverished is without money without good manners having money having good health so option a is the correct one without money on page number 7 mcq number 5 According to the text of the lesson Hazrat Muhammad sallam used to milk his goat this shows that humility was essential part of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam character that he was very humble person now we are moving towards vocabulary here a few directions are for you use dictionaries to Number one, locate guide words. Locate entry words. Choose appropriate word definition. And number four, identify pronunciation through pronunciation key. Dear students, you know a dictionary tells us a number of different things. First thing which we have here. locate guide words so what is a guide word suppose we have a word prominent on the top of the dictionary you can see that first part of the word is given that pro so pro is a guide word which is always on the top of the dictionary which tells you that all the words related to pro are on in this page on this page so what is second thing locate entry words you see that in dictionaries the first word are ah, the new words are ah, in bold chef new words are ah, bold so dear students the words which are ah, bold these are ah, entry words these are entry words and third thing choose appropriate word definition so you also have definition of the word in dictionary and the fourth thing identify pronunciation through pronunciation key and you also can see that there are a few symbols which tells you about the pronunciation of the word so dictionary tells us that how you can locate words how you can locate words first two or three letters are given on the top of the page then what is entry word the word which is in bold is entry word and then there is definition of the word and you can also pronounce these words from dictionary so now the first word prominent its correct pronunciation is prominent pronounce this word three times prominent 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 which means waze clear slaughter 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 ziba to cut humility 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 pronounce this word three times dear students pronounce this word three times humility 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 humbleness humbleness aajizi in kesari humbleness simplicity aajizi in kesari humbleness aajizi in kesari dear nurians the next word we have dignitary 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 which means respectable guest muazzaz mehman foster foster nourish razaima foster mother razaima foster foster dear nurians now repeat these words with me prominent prominent slaughter slaughter 
humility humility humbleness humbleness dignitary dignitary foster foster now we are moving toward the grammar part of unit number 1 in grammar part first we have the understanding of the noun specifically abstract noun countable and uncountable noun success is an example of dash success abstract noun which you can only feel in the lecture of english grammar i have already discussed all these things in detail i'll uh, in description i'll give the link of the lecture related to noun so you can learn it from there success is an example of abstract noun sugar is an example of uncountable noun uncountable noun the things which you can count 1 2 3 1 2 3 so sugar is sort of uncountable thing you cannot count it honey is an example of uncountable noun uncountable noun can you count honey 1 2 3 1 honey 2 honey so it is something very awkward so honey is uncountable noun bravery abstract noun hidden thing which we cannot see we can only feel it bravery bravery abstract noun tables countable noun you can count one table two table three tables four tables five tables two tables three tables four tables five tables so this is countable noun part b of grammar is write the correct plural of the nouns in parentheses so these are a few exceptional cases these person so what is the count uh, what is the plural form of person these persons are protesting against the president these persons the women and the women women the word is women nurians dear nurians pronounce with me the women the women over there want to meet the manager the women w o m e n women the plural of the women is women my child my children had eating pasta my children my childs are wrong my children had eating pasta the students the students are doing the exercise right now the students are doing the exercise right now the fish the plural form of the fish is also fish the fish i bought is in the fridge the fish i bought is in the fridge where did you put the knife dear students do remember whenever there is a word ending with f or fe it takes ves we remove fe or f and we put ves knives k n i v e s then the plural form of the knife is knives where did you put the knives which were on the shelf so we again we have the word ending with f so we will remove it with ves shelves shelves which were on the shelves piano p i a n o piano p i a n o s pianos dear students to remember we always take es form wherever there is a word ending with o but it is exceptional case that in case of nouns we only put s pianos are expensive pianos are expensive the phenomenon the phenomenon its plural form is also the phenomena or not fully understood in the section c of grammar portion we have some nouns change meaning in the plural form e.g. arm and arms arm a part of body that i have two arms but arms weapons its plural form changes meanings 
If we use the word arms, we mean weapons. Use both the singular and plural nouns below in sentences to show difference in meaning. So we have good. Good means acha. He is a good boy. Goods means things. You need to buy all the goods that the company is providing. Goods, things. Wood, lakdi. I have a wood in my hand. And woods, woods mean jungle. The lady was the the lady was hidden in the woods. Spectacle show tamasha. So he settled an spectacle spectacle to let the people enjoy. He set an he set a spectacle spectacle. to let the people enjoy spectacles glasses and eggs i can't see without my spectacles character feature kirdar the man has a sound character and characters performers the play had five characters are you clear with both manner tarika he did it in a quite better manner he did it in a quite better manner manners his manners are sound social social rules of conduct means it is something related to society force energy teacher forced the student to buy the book and forces means armed forces there are a number of armed forces in the world there are a number of forces in the world i hope you are clear with it please listen my lecture carefully and make sentences by your own on these words part d of the grammar identify the noun phrase in the following sentence dear students in lecture of english grammar we will learn these things in detail but now what you need to uh, only remember that what is a noun phrase first do remember what is a phrase phrase is a group of words phrase is a group of words which does not have its own subject or predicate it is only a group of words he wished to talk to his manager so here he has asked about the noun phrase so the word which can so the words which can replace a noun in a sentence are noun phrase noun is only one word but the phrase contains two or more words okay so he wo- he wished to talk ali he wished to talk ali so he wished to talk to his manager so ali is replaced by three words to his manager so it is a noun phrase he wished to talk to his manager to his manager is noun phrase the wicked man loves getting poor people into trouble getting poor people into trouble is a noun phrase the poor man wanted to pay back every penny he owed to pay back every penny he owed is a noun phrase all the kids were sleeping so we can say that children were sleeping so children is replaced with three words all the kids were sleeping so it is a noun phrase all the kids is a noun phrase horses prefer living in dark stables stable is a place where horses are kept so horses prefer living in dark stable so living in dark stable is a noun phrase part e complete each sentence with a properly formed noun clause so now we are coming toward the next concept that what is a clause clause is a group of words which contains its own subject and predicate so clause what is clause it is something different 
from phrase phrase is a group of words which does not contain its own subject or predicate but phrase does not contain its own subject or predicate but clause contains its own subject and predicate so jamal asked me where his wallet was so it contains both the things subject and predicate where is subject and his wallet was so was is a his wallet was is predicate was is a verb i couldn't tell him where i was where i was gives a complete sense contains both subject and predicate part i don't know how many children does he have how many children does he have part b number 4 dash is not important how close we are is not important how close we are is not important contains both subjects and predicate how close we are fifth one dash was said what she said was said what she said was said so dear students today we completed the exercise of unit number 1 what you need to do you need to answer comprehension question you need to write these comprehension questions on your need notebooks you also need to learn these mcqs and you also need to use these words these nouns that good goods you also need to use these nouns in your own sentences okay thank you so much we are done with unit number 1 in next lecture inshallah we will move toward unit number 2 if you have any query you can ask in comment section thank you so much dear nurians love you